Hello guys, welcome to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohammed Ali and in this video, as you know that in the previous video tutorial we have successfully worked on the accept friend request. Now a user can accept friend request if someone sent friend request to him or her. Okay, so we have add three functionalities till now. One is the send friend request, the cancel friend request for the sender and from, for the receiver we have successfully add the accept friend request okay i mean the person who will receive the friend request from the sender so now uh, in this video we are going to work on the unfriend this person i mean the unfriend functionality of uh, i mean let's say if you are friends if uh, if two person are friend with each other then both has the right to unfriend the existing friend okay by clicking this unfriend this unfriend this person button and the next one is the next thing which we will do in this video is the decline friend request okay that is if i receive friend request then i have to uh, then i should have two options as you know that one is the accept friend request which already we did in the previous tutorial and now in this video we will work on the decline friend request also so now as you know that if i go back one thing which we will do first before we proceed if i go back and if i come here again then you can see that the text disappeared which is the unfriend this person so first let's let uh, fix this uh, thing i mean to manage the buttons as you know that we have to do it okay so this is a simple thing we need to add a small validation here for the uh, for displaying the text okay so for that first of all uh, what we're going to do here when we say that is uh, come here above and here we have this method which is maintenance of buttons and if we go to that method which is maintenance of buttons then here you can see that we have the we have this for the send and for the received now we will do it for the unfriend that is if two person are friend with each other so for that as you know that we have this parent if statement and then inside that we have these two child's if else statement so you can see that this is the parent if statement and here we can say else and now inside this else statement we are going to reference to the friend reference i mean the friend reference which you created the friend child okay so we are going to reference to the friends child in the database so we can say dot child send user id dot add child add listener sorry for that add listener for single child event new value event listener and now inside this on data change method we can say if data snap data snapshot dot has child receiver user id as you know that we are working on the receiver okay the person who will uh, receive the friend request so then we can say current stat equals to friends and the send friend request button dot set text so yeah that's it and then we can say decline friend request button dot set visibility it should be invisible and set enables to false so yeah that's it now if i run the app so now you can see that our app is running now successfully now if i go to the find friends and now let's click on muhammad ali so you can see that uh, we have fixed that bug successfully now the text is display if the two person are friend with each other then both has the option to unfriend this person and now we will work on this unfriend this person okay so let's do that so now uh, go to the android studio back and here when we say inside our on create method uh, here when we say if current set dot equals to request received then the next one will be if current stat equals to friends so if the current stat is equals to friends 
then write this if statement what we gonna do we are going to create a method called uh, unfriend an existing friend that is two person are friend with each other then if the user click on the unfriend button then the both person will unfriend with each other okay so let's create that method which is unfriend an existing friend inside the profile activity so you can see that the method is created successfully and now inside this method what we're going to do we are going to use the friend reference and then uh, if the user click if the sender or receiver if i mean both are friend with each other now so if they click on unfriend this person button then both will become unfriend with each other so for the time saving we have already wrote a code for the friend request so we will do change on that i mean we will copy first the code do the same thing which i am doing here okay don't confuse yourself with anything so copy this cancel friend request code from here Control c okay come here above and now paste that code here and what we're going to do we are going to change this code okay we are going to do some changes here for the unfriend functionality so remove this friend request reference and instead of that we are going to call the friend reference okay friend ref you can see that friend ref and also here remove this friend request ref and write here friend ref which which is referencing or you can say which is linked to the friends node and we are now removing the record from the friend node because both users are friend with each other now okay so we will work on that and this the remaining code will be the same yeah that's it and it should also be the same that is the if the two person uh, unfriend each other then the current stat will change to not friends and the text will change to send friend request and yeah that's it so now let's run the app to see if it is working or not so our app is running now successfully and now let's go to the find friend so as you know that i am friend with aisha hughes and the record is already stored under this friends node okay you can see that so now if i just uh, come here and let's check it from here so as you know that i am now logged in as aisha hughes okay now if i and let's click on muhammad ali as muhammad ali and aisha hughes are friend with each other so i will click on this unfriend this person and you can see that i mean now both becomes unfriend with each other and the buttons change to send friend request successfully so i mean this is really amazing this is incredible awesome so we have successfully uh, add the unfriend uh, functionality and now the next thing which we will do is the decline friend request so go to the android studio and we will finish that decline friend request it is too simple so here come here and we have this maintenance of buttons so go to that method maintenance of buttons here it is and now here we can say when we say lcf request dot type equals to received then inside this lcf statement we can say decline friend request button dot set on click listener so we are going to set a click listener on that so if a, some if a user click on decline friend request that is the receiver if the receiver of the friend request click on decline friend request then we are going to cancel that friend request so we are going to call a method which we already created in the previous tutorial which is the cancel friend request so yeah that's it now let's run the app to check so our app is running now successfully let's go to the find friends and now let's send friend request to i uh, i mean this is my own account uh, that is i am now logged in as aisha hughes okay if i show you then you can see that aisha hughes okay now so that's why i cannot see friend request and uh, friend request button there now let's send a friend request to mohammed ali share and now i'm going to click on send friend request so you can see that the friend request is sent if i go to database then you can see that the friend request node is created successfully now let's go back and send friend request to mohammed ali also okay so i'm going to send friend request to him also so you can see that other child added successfully now let's log out from here and now i am going to log in using mohammed ali share account so i'll write email 
and I am now logged in as uh, Mohammed Ali Sher. And now let's go to the find friend. So Aisha, he just sent me a friend request. So if I click on her profile, then you can see that I uh, it is here written that is accept friend request and decline friend request. So let's click on decline friend request. And you can see that the child is removed successfully from the friend request node. And now here it is written that is send friend request. Okay. And now let's go back and also let's check it by uh, from Mohammed Ali. Now I'm going to log out. As you know that Aisha he just sent from request to Mohammed Ali, which is my account. So let me log in by my own personal account now. So now I am logged in by my own personal account, which is Mohammed Ali. And now if I come here and I have received friend request from Aisha Hughes. If I come here, then you can see that accept friend request and decline friend request. So if I click on decline friend request, then you can see that the last two child also removed successfully. So now I can send friend request back to Aisha Hughes if I want. So in this way, we have successfully add the unfriend functionality. That is if the two person are uh, friend with each other, then both has the right to unfriend each other. And also we add successfully the decline friend request functionality. So now everything is uh, really awesome. I mean, this is incredible. In the next video tutorial, we will display that is, let's say I, I become friend with 10 or 15 persons or more than that. Then we are going to display a friend list just like you guys see in uh, Facebook social networking site or other social networking sites. Okay, so we will be working on the friend list where we will display all the friends of an online user. So we'll work on that in the upcoming tutorial. So yeah, that's it for this video. And if anyone is new to our channel, then please subscribe our channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon. And for recent updates, do follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and Facebook account so that you can never miss any single update from Coding Cafe. Take care of yourself and bye for now.